Hi, welcome to Sim Captain. Gonna do a comparison of the GoFlight versus desktop aviator landing gear selectors. Um, I temporarily put my GoFlight back in, and there's the desktop aviator. Now, with like a lot of things in Flight Sim, and you know pros and cons to hardware we use. Um, now, first I want to note the desktop aviator. As soon as I power on the computer the lights illuminate and the test light works and if I put the handle in the up position the lights cycle through retraction and deployment. So that right there tells me that these lights do not indicate what your gear in flight sim are doing they are just merely on their own circuit and every time the switch is tripped they run through their cycle. So, it's an interesting thing, and I didn't think it would be much of a problem until I had a recent incident uh, where I put the hand landing gear selector down, the three green lights were on, I assume my gear is down, I land and the gear was in the up position because the actual command and the toggle switch somehow switched and uh, these lights are not a representation of what your landing gear are doing in flight sim so if you have a gear failure no matter what these lights are always going to show three green. One other thing I'd like to add about the uh, desktop aviator as I mentioned, when the uh, computer's powered on, the lights are on, and that's it. Uh, they do not turn off with Flight Sim like the Go Flight do. Um, so the only way to turn off the lights is to put the gear up, and that'll turn the lights off. If I'm walking away from the unit for a while and I don't want them to just be burning away. This, in my little virtual NTSB accident investigation on my gear up landing, discovered this was the culprit. I had put the gear in the up position here um, with the lights out. Then when I came back to fly later, opened Flight Sim, Flight Sim was open and loaded. I put the gear selector down, which in turn in Flight Sim put the gear selector in the up position, even though this was down, because this is just a toggle switch. It doesn't matter. It just when it's flipped, it's up or down. It doesn't matter what position it is. Unlike the Go flight, which the position actually matters. Um, then when I flew my flight and I took off and I retracted my gear and the lights went out. In fact, I had actually left my gear down uh, and didn't realize it because in my simulation, I didn't go outside the cockpit to look at the landing gear. Then when I was landing and I selected down and three green, I thought the gear was down and three green, only to discover when I made it to my flare, my gear was still up and I crashed for the first time ever. Uh, that was amazing. The disappointing. So, let me launch Flight Sim real quick so the Go Flight comes up. Now the Go Flight these lights actually will represent what your landing gear are doing in flight sim. And as some aircraft, the gear come up one, two, three, some come up the main first and then the nose, and this will change per what the aircraft is actually doing. This just runs through its whatever internal program that tells it to cycle through the lights. Okay, so I have Flight Sim opened up, and I have an aircraft in flight, level flight, with the autopilot on. Uh, you'll notice the gear is down in three green on both panels, and Flight Sim. I'm going to hit G, and you'll notice the Go Flight's lights are cycling to the up and off. The desktop aviator, no change. And in Flight Sim, in fact, the gear are up. So, that is a major shortcoming 
of Desktop Aviator that those lights are not representing your gear's position. They just cycle through whenever you flip the switch. And you'll see these lights are transitioning to three green. These are up and out. And in fact, Flight Sim's gear is down in green. So Go Flight's landing gear module is accurately representing your gear position. Where Desktop Aviator, just whenever you flip this switch, those lights are programmed probably just on the back of that panel in a little circuit board to run through this cycle. I do like the push to test, and the lights look good. I really like the pull to extend handle. I like that it fits in one module's space, um, but I'm really disappointed that those lights are just basically decoration. Um, GoFlight's landing gear panel, which includes a trim wheel and a flap switch, uh, its lights are showing you the position of the gear. So, you know, these gear are showing down in green, up and out, and in fact, Flight Sim's gear is up. So if I put Flight Sim's gear down, you'll see that the Go Flight lights are cycling. And it doesn't matter what position. So, you know, here's where this works well is just up and they're going up. And they're all in sync. Um, and that's great. You know, I'm going to continue probably using the desktop aviator just because I like that it fits in the one space of, of one module. And, uh, you know, I never, rep I never replicate a landing gear failure. I mean, there's just no point to it in Flight Sim because once you land, you're stuck and your, your wheels don't move. So gear is up, so I can flip this switch and that'll change nothing. If I put it back down, now the gear going down the gear going down and this has not changed. So now I'll put the handle in the down position which actually has now caused the gear to go up on flight sim. And this is what caused my incident the other day where I landed with no gear. I saw three green lights, the gear handle was in the down position but in fact my gear is up. You know, so if I flip this now and now it's sinking back up. Oh, untrue. It's putting my gear down. So this switch has now gotten reversed because I hit G. So I have to hit G again to get them synced back up. So now they're all up. Uh, I can move this switch and again nothing happens. If I put this, now the gear are going down. And the gear down in flight sim. And the switch is, you know, can be put back in the down position without changing anything. So in functionality, Go Flight is by far the superior unit. Uh, for a lot of people, it's really helpful to have the trim wheel and flaps, though I didn't use them. Uh, it does take up the space of two modules. Uh, so if you're buying a landing gear selector, I mean, this is something you ought to know, I guess, about the the desktop aviator. I mean, I really like the module, and I'm going to continue to use it. As I said, I, I don't simulate gear failures, so it's not relevant. Um, just the fact, though, I have to pay attention that the lights and handle don't always represent what the airplane's doing, and I need to make sure it's synced up with the airplane. Where the GoFlight, you did not have to worry about that. So that's, that's my thoughts and experience with these two landing gear selectors. Also, real quickly, I'm going to put the aircraft into a failure mode just to show you a landing gear failure. Um, I just need to find a gear here. Um, here's left gear. Fail. Fail. Okay. So I've set for a gear failure. It means a gear is not going to come up. Uh, so I will select this handle in the up position and you'll notice the go flight is showing you the left rear 
left main gear has uh, failed to retract. This is showing all lights up. And in flight sim, the actual position is we have a gear stuck in the down position. So, you know, it, it's hard. I, I don't like to say I don't like desktop aviator. I do like desktop aviator. Uh, I really like the parking brake handle I'm using from them. But this is a, you know, I may have said in my early video the functionality was better, and I was 100% wrong. The functionality is a fail. But the price, the Go Flight, is much more expensive, and the Desktop Aviator is very affordable, which is why I didn't hesitate to purchase this at all. Because even if it failed, which it it's like a 50-50 failure. I'm going to use it because I like the look, I like the function of the handle, but I can't depend on the lights or the handle's position to guarantee the gear in the right position. Um, so that's it. That's that's my comparison of these two landing gear selectors. You know, when you're purchasing, make your decision. What's more important, good functionality, good looks, or price? Anyway, like, subscribe, and until next time, happy landings.